This is the video log of uh, the recapping of the violin phono stage, the Hagerman violin phono stage. And um, this is the RIAA and coupling cap section. And uh, the original caps were MIT caps and M caps. So I took these out and uh, put in mi flexes the key pfm01 and got these from parts connection and they did a terrific job of matching them without any charge and i double checked the the capacitances and they are extremely close to each other, mostly to within 0.1%. And the XL1 meter is really consistent. I measured them in triplicate measurements for each capacitor. It gave exact same measurements and that had uh, quite a bit of deviation. Although that meter can also measure the ESR, but it doesn't measure capacitance too accurately and this only measures capacitance but measures it very accurately each time and both of them made little different readings so these are 0.22 microfarad caps and this measured a little bit more and this always measured less than that uh, so i put those values there as measured by the XL1 because they, they were more accurate and consistent. So for these caps, I, you can see there, so uh, the leads cannot fit through the PCB. The holes are too small for these double leads, thick double leads. So I placed there a piece of sterling silver, a gauge 20 sterling silver post and they are tied to those sterling silver posts on all ends, all of the caps. And use the audio twist solder to solder these in. And also change the electrolytic capacitors, those are all, all of them I ordered from Mauser. And here's two of them, plus one, that. So these three capacitors, two in the front, and that those were originally rated at 10 volts and they are 470 microfarad and they were nichicons and i replaced them with these guys and they are panasonic and they are 470 volt microfarad 16 volt rated with a higher rating than the original and in the back there's also more tiny capacitors. Those are um, 16 volts rated 220 microfarads. And uh, these are United Chemicon KZH series. And uh, the original ones were Nichicons there as well. So when we look at the uh, high voltage power supply, we have the choke chokes there so those are the choke inputs for the channels and that and that those are the first filter caps or they uh, they were originally 100 microfarads 350 volts rated the and they were nichicons and uh, the ones i put in there are same rating and panasonic so these are the caps if you can see that that went in instead however i use the panels only for the first c1 stage and then the the c2 and c3 for both channels they are united chemical capacitors and 150 microfarads each and originally we had the electrocube film capacitors as a bypass so three on each side one for each cap 
and they were I think one or two microfarad values and instead of that I'm using here these uh, Kemet DC link capacitors these are uh, uh, higher voltage rating as well but they are 15 microfarads so they've been up quite a bit and it, it's these uh, C4AQ series DC link caps which is super good extremely low series inductance and series resistance they are super duper fast so here they are I have a couple more left and what else did we do so I also changed the uh, the filament filter capacitors these two guys and that guy those are 10 millifarad 10 volt rated they used to be in Ichikons and now these are United Chemicon KYA series and and you see the DC link caps are soldered in one pin directly to the PC board and the other pin has a a total gauge of 17 that's 16 strands of gauge 32 fine silver and I used here audio quest solder and there the regular silver solder and here it's all audio quest solders but for the electricity capacitors I use the regular Rosencore Radio Shack Rosencore with a dab of audio quest to, to make it uh, flow better and, uh, and just improve with a little extra silver content and a little extra lead content for better flow I haven't changed the resistors, haven't touched them left them as it is now and added the uh, copper screens for all of the capacitors the electrolytics look a little bit uh, wrinkled and crumpled because I have reused those copper sheets but on the desealing caps those are fresh new nice uh, copper sheets uh, they are soldered together at the at the ends so they all, all of them form electric content that you can see there it is so the ends of the copper foil are soldered so it's an electric continuity and all of these have been soldered to a grounding wire that links all of these copper screens together and it runs in the back and it's grounded at this uh, tab here by that choke and the chokes and the filament transformer are also copper screened and uh, and they are also grounded here at the same point so basically that's the recap of the violin and we'll see in a few minutes how it sounds <laughs>